previously. So let's do that right now. Let's use Divine Smite. There you go. Done it. Now the question is... Oh. <laughs> and... And she's gone! No! Hello and welcome to another episode. So last time we had that disaster with Meireen, but I'm determined to save her. So that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So let's do that. Oh, maybe that orb is it. I'll rip your spine out your asshole. I'll use your blood to spice my skew. I'll keep you alive until I've sucked the marrow from your bones. And then I'll bring you back and do it all over again. Just get out of here. I think the orb is the solution. Alright. I think in the last fight I had a better position than this one, but we'll see what we can do. They're just gonna keep dashing, aren't they? Okay, we've got three in the same position, so actually starting with Greece might be a good solution. Well, if we can actually move. I think Gail will be able to move. Which is actually a good way to start. Well, did I just celebrate too early? No. Okay, that works. So let's move him right here. Oh, we're starting with scratch. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Now if I can push. He can't really jump, so let's just end the turn. Let's move Gale. I don't know if Greece will cover enough area. I think, okay, it will be good enough for two. And we got both, that's good. Definitely take that. And he can push. The thing is, he could actually flank this way and reach for the orb, so let's try that. Top of her. Oh. Where did that one move? We would have advantage here. Might be worth... Okay, let's continue pushing. And attack. Attack from range. What I could do as well. I can use a narrow fire and probably increase the damage output. Yeah. I think you can't move anymore. Yeah, I could just move a little bit. Shadow Heart. Completely, I'm completely gonna go on the offensive here. And let's go with Guiding Bolt. We're at level 2, we hit that one. 
that one's still down. What about this one? I've got high ground, so it's worth hitting her. Oh, if only we didn't miss. That would be great. I think health-wise, we're all okay. If Hunter's Mark is worth doing, but let's keep that for now. I'm still surprised about the spider's jump, it's so good. Yeah, let's bite. Well saved. Oh. Yeah, we're taking damage now. It's not great. Scratch is poisoned. And I don't think there's much you can do from here. Without a target. If I get him to move. I'll kind of jump over here. Will he have enough to reach her? He does. Still missed. Let's get him to keep pushing for that orb. Slow down. And hit from range if he can. Not enough movement. Can he jump? Not enough movement speed. Okay. I think I messed up here. Yeah, they are not in range. Okay, Gail. Need you to do something good here. The poison spray is not going to be it, I think. His piercing shot, good. Don't have the height advantage, so that's not great. Could just fire bolt. Try to burn her here. Five damage is not good. Okay, we'll dip that. End the turn. And Shadow Heart, I think she's still poisoned, isn't she? She got vicious mockery. Not sure what that means. Okay, she's got okay, she gets disadvantage. If there's any way if she could save herself. No range attack. Still has a disadvantage. Maybe I should try and do something else with her. Actually, I didn't cast Bless, so... I guess that would be a good alternative. I need to move her. And let's cast Bless. She can bless herself as well. I think, yeah, that's a better use of our turn. Okay, I'll I think they're all... Oh, Karlak is in a bit of trouble. And let's heal her. Yeah, I might get, get Karlak to jump. So she could potentially rush her there. And hit with Divine Smite. That's decent. And the spider. The spider could actually help scratch here somehow. Oh, well, crit. That's decent. And where did she move? There's only one of them. So let's get the spider to get next to her. Oh, 
Ow. Okay. Well, she triggered her own trap, so that's actually <laughs> it's actually quite good. So let's uh, not enough movement. So yeah, scratch has to jump, and let's get him to move right about here and bite. Yeah, we'll keep doing as much damage as we can. I think I'll jump with him. Let's get him here. And then use a jump. And see if we can interact with this thing. Oh. What just happened? Hmm, not entirely sure. I can't attack from range. Can I destroy this thing? It doesn't do anything. Kind of weird, okay. What else can we do? Go for missiles, could use Eldritch Blast. And I've got disadvantage. I mean, I could use Grease, but that's gonna affect Scratch and it will stop Karlek from attacking, which is not great. Maybe we could go for a scroll. Let's use the scroll. Three damage. That's just that's pitiful, really. This potion of healing, and that's there's a poison cloud there. It's not great, but let's move him more or less here. Let's keep him away from her. I just don't get it. What are you supposed to do with that orb? Let's keep attacking. And we just keep missing and this attack is meant to be so good with her. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Question of healing. And turn. And let's use Scarlet again. She's Divine Smite on her. Yeah. Maybe I should use Inquisitor's Might as well. And the turn. Maybe I, sh uh, I should have definitely done that before attacking. Spider's able to jump. Let's attack. Another crit. Even though that just did one damage. Ah. Okay. Scratch. Just missed that. Time to push my luck again. I just don't get it. I really do. Let's move him so he can actually help the others. So he can move. He can move here. Yeah, let's get him to move right here. I think he should be in range. Yes, okay. Still has low ground though. I missed it. Okay, Gail. I'm gonna go with missiles. That was decent. Let's heal him. So, Shadowheart, can you actually hit Guiding Bolt this time? Please, please do. 
disadvantage. Okay, it's uh, it's not worth it, is it? So let's use the range attack instead. Yeah, I was expecting that. Let's heal Karlak. And let's try the Vine Smite again. And we got it. Okay. Is she going down? There we go. We saved her. We did it this time. So just need to interact with the orb. And then finish the hag. And that's pretty much it. You bastard! You ruined it! You ruined everything! All of this trouble and now she's mad at us. <laughs> oh, this game. Ethel was going to bring my husband back. Back from the dead. And now I'll never see him again. Because of you. That was bullshit. She would have. I had everything figured out. Just a bit longer and my child would have been born. And all this, all this would have been over. Don't judge me. I have nothing. My baby would have been raised in rags. Auntie Ethel promised to give this child a good life. Teach them magic even. More than I could have done. Wow. She's so delusional. Well, I didn't bloody ask you, did I? I didn't ask for any of this. I just wanted Connor back. Now I have to drag his corpse back home. Coffin and all, because a goddamn grave is the closest I'll get to seeing him again. I hope you're happy. Wow, all of this trouble for this ungrateful... Oh, I don't even know what to call her. Okay, well, with that bombshell, let's end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell icon for the next episode. So that's it, bye for now.